Do not try this yourself. I am an expert. Greetings, fellow nerds. Back in July of 2009, I stuck my hand in a liquid night to demonstrate the lightning rod effect. Now that I have a better camera, I thought I'd do it again. I have here a standard laboratory heated plate, and I'm going to put some water on it and turn on the heat. As expected, it's going to boil. Now when it gets really hot, an interesting effect takes over. As you can see here, the liquid nitrogen skirts away as I pour it on the floor without actually soaking into the floor. The liquid nitrogen boils at minus 196 Celsius, and this laboratory floor is at room temperature. So from the liquid nitrogen's perspective, the floor is super hot. Here's some drops of liquid nitrogen moving around on the floor, just like the water on the hot plate. Nonetheless, the lightning flash effect will protect my hand with the physical coating. Now this works great for a single drop. What about a whole hand? Well, there's only one way to find out. I got here a steel doer flask, and here's liquid nitrogen. It's boiling since the doer is at room temperature, and that's extremely hot to liquid nitrogen. It'll settle once it cools. Okay, here we are. Time for me to prove my scientific reasoning. Even though I've done this before, I still get nervous. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that's, that's cold, that's really cold, but I still got all my fingers, and my hand is perfectly fine. Feel the dice though. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try this experiment again, but this time in slow motion. You can see the liquid nitrogen boiling around the hand and creating the gas here that's slowing down the thermal transfer. The liquid nitrogen isn't wetting my hand, as you can see my hand appears to be super hot, and the liquid nitrogen instantly boils off it. For better view, we're gonna use this clear doer. Now my hand is slightly too large for this doer. Well, I can probably get it in if I stretch my fingers, I don't want to risk getting stuck in there. So I'm gonna get her done to do this. Here she goes. Three, two, one. You can clearly see liquid nitrogen boiling off her hand and forming the gas barrier that's protecting it from being frostbitten. In this angle, it looks like a force field is preventing liquid nitrogen from touching her. Once again, do not try this yourself. And there you go. That was liquid nitrogen and the lightning frost effect. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Here are a few extra takes we filmed while trying to make this video.